What up guys, in this video I want to talk about APIs. I want to explain what they are, why they're useful, you and APIs mostly. can be used to really power up your code. <clears throat> so APIs are just a standard in which two pieces of code communicate with each other. So whenever you hear APIs, that's pretty much what, what they're talking about, is one set of code communicating with another set of code. So why is this useful? Is because the biggest applications in the world, like Facebook, YouTube, Amazon, Instagram, uh, Google, they all have public APIs that allow developers and engineers to interact with them and access various information um, on within those applications from those big platforms. So for example, I'm just going to share my screen here. <clears throat> and I've just searched up Facebook API in Google. I'm just going to click in Facebook login. So one of the things that the Facebook API is going to allow you to do is right within your application by using the Facebook API, it's going to allow you to add something like Facebook login to your app. And you've probably seen this in a lot of applications, right? You sign in, uh, whether it's on your phone or uh, on your browser, and you go to, it's like sign up. And when you click sign up, it's like, oh, sign up with Facebook or Google or sign up with um, Instagram, whatever it is. That's all happening with the help of APIs. Okay, another example is the Google Maps. So the Google Maps has a big API. So if you search up Google Maps API, uh, you can see here um, <clears throat> that they have their own uh, API. And this allows applications, think like Uber or like Airbnb that have, ha that are, you know, that use uh, maps functionality instead of those apps building their own maps functionality they're able to just leverage one way they can uh, have this maps functionality is just leveraging the very powerful Google Maps API as opposed to just rebuilding the wheel and making all that stuff yourself you know the example I want to get into uh, for one of my friends it was leveraging the YouTube API so if you just search up here uh, YouTube API um, in Google and you get a page like this this is kind of like some of the documentation um, so this is an example of something an API might return so in this case the YouTube API might return when you hit the playlist endpoint right so what is an endpoint so API's usually have endpoints that are gonna allow you to access the kinds of information you need from that site. So for example, in the YouTube API, I might hit the playlist endpoint, which is gonna give me information about certain playlists. Or I could hit like a channels endpoint here, that's gonna give me certain information related to channels, you know, or even a videos endpoint, things like that. So the example I'm gonna be, in the example that I did inside my project, I use the playlist endpoint uh, to allow my friend's site to pull in information from his YouTube channel right to his website. So the site I made for him is called therealist.tv and I'll have a link to it in the description below. Uh, so it's pretty much like a videos sharing platform here. So if you go to it and you click videos, uh, the code here says when you hit videos, uh, hit the YouTube API and the playlists endpoint and give me back all the videos within certain playlists on my friend's YouTube channel. So if you go on YouTube here, here's my friend's YouTube channel and you can go to, uh, you can see he has some playlists here called, one's called trending now and one's called podcast episodes. So all the videos that get added to this trending now show up right here. And all the videos that are added to his podcast playlist uh, his podcast playlist here uh, gets shown up right over here. So you see in this way, I'm leveraging the power of APIs to not have to host any of these videos directly on my friend's site, but instead host them on YouTube and just pull them into the my application when I need, right? So I'm hoping you can see start to see now the power of uh, APIs. So 
just to just to make this super crystal clear i'm just gonna show you re in real time now uh how this thing gets updated and so now let's say i go to uh youtube again right and there's this video here trudeau announces new mandatory covid19 measures so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add this video to my playlist and i'll add it to my trending now playlist okay so on the realist.tv slash videos right now, you don't see that video, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to trending now, right? I didn't do, I didn't have to update any code. The code automatically knows it's always gonna be checking against the YouTube playlist endpoint uh, and waiting for new items to get added. So because I added that in there, now if you go back to the realist and you refresh, boom you can see that this video now is right here in the trending uh trending playlist and i didn't really have to update my site at all it's because the power of apis uh it just knows what to do right so this demonstrates a real life example of how two sets of code in this case my friend's site which is set of code one and the second set of code which is the youtube api and how they can send information uh between each other uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you liked it, please give, give this video a like. Uh, comment below if you have any suggestions for future videos uh, when you're learning to code. Peace out.